I love robots. It's my hobby, it's my passion, and it's my work. So I'm uh, Russ Tedrake. I'm a professor at MIT. Uh, we're working with the Atlas robot built by Boston Dynamics. Atlas is a six foot two, 400 pound humanoid robot. The way that we control the robot is we uh, reason about the things we want it to do in terms of objects that it can perceive in the environment. And then that becomes an input to an optimization algorithm that runs on the robot that figures out all the details. The way the competition works is the robot is out in the field and it has to do several tasks including driving a car and a variety of manipulation tasks. Our intention was to get all eight points in this run. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we did not do that. There was a user error on our part and we missed one of the things we should have done. And so the robot began getting out of the car while its driving controller was still engaged. And that caused some bad foot behavior which ultimately tipped the robot onto its face. The right wrist broke. Uh, it broke the fall a little bit, but it snapped. But the software and the operator, they're smart enough that they were able to adapt. I think the way that we adapted and went off script uh, is really a testament to the software tools and to the people that are uh, behind the, the robot. I mean, really, I couldn't be prouder of how the team handled that. I mean, I'm heartbroken that our robot fell, but the performance we put on after that, I think, is just out of this world. These robots are amazingly capable. Um, the hardware, in principle, is capable of doing incredible things. I think that the robots that we're, we're going to see over the next 20 years, we should not be scared of at all. I think there are going to be amazing tools for humans to use in uh, to do mundane tasks, to go places where we don't want to go. Robotics is at this just incredibly exciting time right now where robots can do real work in the real world. Some people are worried about robots taking jobs or some people are worried about the robot takeover or apocalypse or something. Um, we're far from that. Um, I think robots taking jobs is a hard question. People had to change the way they worked when personal computers came out and people are going to have to change the way they work when robots come out and can do some jobs. And it's going to be hard, but it's going to make our society better.